doing? This is Luke Fidu, and we are once again playing some Space Engineers. Last episode, we exited Earth, Earth's atmosphere, and as you can see, we have the alien planet over here. And we're actually farming some ice at the moment because our ship actually ran out of fuel. So we logged out, and then we may have forgotten to turn the hydrogen thrusters off. So our ship sort of just sat there for a long time and pretty much just lost all its power. Which I still have uranium, but I do not have the actual, uh, the ice in my oxygen tank and whatnot to support my hydrogen thrusters. So, we had to look around for some ice for not too long. It's actually not very far away from where I was going to set up a station, which sort of disappeared. As you can see, here is some platinum, the whole reason we came here. We found a little patch of it. I'm not sure how deep this goes down, but it has respawned, so it is, it's here to stay. So we have a good spot for some platinum. That's why we decided to put a station somewhat near this place. Where's Earth? Oh, there's Earth. Looks gorgeous. Looks beautiful. Um, Where's the moon? The moon must be on the other side of the Earth. Oh, no, it's right there. Maybe. But yeah, there's a nice little donut. It's always good to see those donuts. Um, that's just a straight stone donut, which is a little surprising, but to go back to our base We're gonna have to make a couple trips here to get a good amount of ice in our hydrogen thrusters So yeah Definitely in the future you guys make sure to turn off the hydrogen thrusters before you sign off Because you would like to keep them on so your ship doesn't sort of just like Float away somehow. I don't know. It happens sometimes, but not very often where your ship will just uh, will get a slight, a slight like speed acceleration going on, and, you know, it might fly some place you don't want it to fly. Doesn't happen very often though. Once you sign off, your ship's usually pretty good. Doesn't uh, react to the server much. And here it is. You can't see it barely at all. I mean, you can see a little tiny speck, but yeah, there she is. Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> Damn! Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of stuff on us. I thought we'd slow down a lot faster than that, but it makes sense since we have all this ice on us. Oh, my poor ship without any power. So yeah, we just gotta put it in right here. This bottom one right here is not connected to anything, but... And these thruster animation, you guys, are a welcome addition. Look at this. Pretty cool. I've yet to see... I've seen them on a large thruster. And the idle speed is a lot fat, A fat, A lot... Uh, Jesus. The idle speed is a lot quicker compared to the... The big ones. These ones are just really, really slow. And they actually do speed up quite a bit once you get onto a planet. So it's, yes, a very welcome addition. There's ice in here. But yeah, we can just put it anywhere, basically. And yeah, there we go. Our thrusters should be operational now. I believe. I have to turn them on and turn them back off. Um. Yeah, we're having some technical difficulties. I don't know why it's not working. Here, we were heading back to our ship. We've gotten some more ice. There's actually a good amount of resources here. We got platinum, we got uranium, we got silicone. And that's about it. I'm pretty sure there might be a little magnesium, a couple patches in there, but that's all stuff we had on Earth. So pretty accessible to us near our base. So that's where we were going to set up the station. We actually set up a platform and put a beacon on there, but uh, it didn't really save for some reason, so. Yes, yeah, so we're coming back to the ship. Hopefully we will slow down a little bit and not fly dangerously close like a gosh darn rocket past it. And yeah, it will kill me if I do that and will also possibly send my ship flying. And since I don't have any thrusters right now, uh, it would just keep flying forever since there's no inertial dampeners on it. 
unless it flew into a planet by some miracle, and then the planet thrusters would kick in. But we couldn't really hope for that. There's not really any planets. Well, there's that big planet right there, but... Oh, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay, uh, last trip didn't end up too good. Um, I put all my eyes in here, just didn't want to do anything, so... You know, maybe going into the oxygen generator and fucking stuff up. There we go. Alright, I guess the last one didn't... What? Oh my god, the oxygen generator is fucking shit up, you guys. How much oxygen do you need in here? Oh my god. Um... I don't... The turn off the vent or something? What the hell? Yeah, technical difficulties, guys. All right, we'll be back. All right, this is the freaking third time I've gone to this asteroid looking for ice and then bringing it all the way back to my little small ship over there. And I don't know what happens. My hydrogen thrusters just end up eating it all up in a matter of seconds. So I don't I turned off the oxygen generator this time. So I was thinking maybe the oxygen generator was just feeding it all into its tanks and just like Keeping it for itself, maybe? I don't know, but... Getting some more ice, we're gonna try this again. We're lagging a little bit. Alright, so after three or four trips, we have... Set up a respectable amount of ice in here. As you can see, we have a little bit of a... A reserve supply in this one medium car container, and we have completely filled... The oxygen generator with ice, so... Nothing should be disappearing, guys. And since this isn't completed, and it's probably just just adding more weight to our ship, we're actually going to grind this so much down. I have a giant iPad on my arm. Alright, yeah. We do not need that anymore, so we're going to... This is the moment of truth, guys. After all the problem solving and all the brainstorming, let's see if our damn hydrogen thrusters decide to work all right here we go the hydro bam there we go now let's hope it works for more than a couple seconds all right, let's not actually get to a full gallop here just yet all right yeah we should be good yeah, they were saying you needed a hydrogen tank, but don't always listen to what people are telling you because I did not need one. So yeah, we're gonna head off to this little uh, this platinum mine we got right here. We're gonna set up with a little bit more platinum. We're gonna show you guys the vein. I already showed it to you once, but we're gonna get a little bit from there. And then we're gonna head back to Earth. It is daytime over at my base. I've yet to see my base in a couple days, so I'm becoming a little homesick, my friends. And definitely take advantage of the inertial dampeners, you guys. Especially since we're in space. Saves a lot of fuel. And especially since we're having some fuel issues recently, we should definitely save it on as much ice as we can. Yeah, there's, there's our nice Earth. We actually might set up on the moon, you guys, because I'm hearing that thorium is actually easier to find up there and there's going to be platinum and a bunch of other good stuff and it's going to be a lot closer than this asteroid field is obviously i'm actually not sure about the distance between the moon and the earth right now i'm thinking it's probably like maybe 60 70 thousand meters something like that so we're approaching on the planet this thing takes a long time to slow down you guys so if you have ships like this definitely it's it's a little it's it's better to be cautious on the cautious side. 
rather than coming in way too hot. And yes, we're going to have a lot of stuff in our inventory, and I hope that doesn't mess us up on re-entry. So we're not going to stack up on as much platinum as I, was, as I would like. But when we get back to our base on Earth, we're actually going to hook ourselves up with some more hydrogen thrusters. And maybe a little less uh, atmospheric thrusters. Just so we can tug along with some more resources. It's taking a long time to get here. This is I'm trying to be careful about it. Yeah, it's taking a long time to slow down. We have a lot of stuff on us, so. There's my donut. I've set up so many bases inside those donuts, guys, and it is such a bad idea. Because everybody wants to check out a donut. And the way you build the bases in there, usually I like to tuck them in inside the donut. So I'm in like, I'm inside the donut, you guys. And people can like roll right up on my base and literally be like, uh, like drilling for resources before they even know it's there. And then they just end up coming like underneath my base because they're drilling through the asteroid or coming at a weird angle to the point where my turrets can't do anything to stop them. So they, they've pretty much conquered my base without even really realizing it. There's our platinum. Let's bring her on in. Get close. Be careful with the speeds though. When you're in these really low speeds, like below six miles a second, your stopping and accelerating is a lot better. Once you get past about eight to 10 miles a second, then it starts to take a, a lot longer to slow down compared to how fast you're going. My depth perception is always all fucked up in space. I could swear I'm about to hit this right here, but if you look right here, there's we have like a lot to go. So it's definitely good to switch up your ankles a little bit, you guys. All right, yeah, that, that's close enough. So yeah, here's the platinum, you guys. Pretty much the whole reason we came up here. And thorium, but we're not finding any thorium. So we're probably gonna need to take a trip to the moon in order to find that. Yeah, let's get a little bit more of this platinum. She's so rare, so desirable. Yeah, this fighter cockpit looks Awfully nice, you guys. Awfully nice. We may add in some animations for actually you, like, doing different maneuvers. Like, if you were to turn off your your thrusters or turn off your reactors, you might actually press a button on this little keyboard right here. But yeah, it looks really nice, guys. A little bit like a Star Citizen feel. If we were to actually have animations for different stuff, that'd be awfully cool. But here we go. Where is the Earth? Right there behind us. Alright, let's line ourselves up with our place. So we can be dropping in right next to our base. The Earth is beautiful. Hell yes, it is. Oh my god, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Dude, this is fucking insane. Okay, I need to turn off these thrusters. Guys, we just fucking... We couldn't stop in time. I think we had too much weight on us. Yeah, let's turn off these thrusters for sure. Oh my god, we're completely upside down right now. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. That was fucking tragic. Huge crater. We lost like a good portion of the back of our ship. Oh my god. 
All right, we're gonna have to go back to our starting like base and get an actual get my other ship and come get all this stuff. Oh my god! God, my thrusters are still on. God damn it! All right, you guys, we have plummeted down from Earth and we've crashed and created a huge fucking crater. Um, I don't know why I thought I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. So I don't know what happened. It was an epic and uh, truly uh, we almost stopped in time, guys. We were probably at like 80 meters per second and we, we just needed some more atmospheric thrusters and we, did, we couldn't do it. But a minor miracles, you guys, some minor miracles. We have actually a lot of the ship has destroyed. I mean, look how big this fucking crater was. If you can see, we have a couple of our gyroscopes laying around on the ground. But, yeah, we've crashed, you guys. It was it was so intense. I'm sorry I couldn't fucking capture it. Shadowplay said it was recording, but I, I don't know what happened. But, uh, we're going to end up going back to our base that's on Earth and getting our other ship and then coming here and uh, getting the resources out of this thing. By some miracle, you guys, we've completely flipped it. But by some miracle, we've actually got all of our resources. So, we have all the platinum we went up there for. But it was a tragic crash landing. NASA would not have approved of that at all, you guys. But, yeah, we're going to go get our other ship and come back here. Um, God, I'm so surprised this thing isn't just completely destroyed. So, once again, I'm sorry I couldn't fucking record that. Major bummer, you guys. Like, I was freaking out when I was recording it. It was so intense, but... Yeah, it happens, you guys. Always make sh just make sure to double check that you're recording. But we will be to our ship. We're probably just gonna kill ourselves. I mean, we actually landed on the wrong side of the planet, so I'm definitely not trying to go 100 and oh, like almost 115,000 meters all the way back just by flying with my my jetpack and stuff. So yes, we'll see you guys in a second. And everybody, I'm sorry for what happened to my space shuttle. It got completely completely fucked up here not a hundred percent but still pretty bad but yes take one more look at this giant crater no what is this uranium it was uranium all right yeah we'll see you guys in a second all right my friends we've made it back to our base uh we ended up just dying and it is nighttime on our side of the planet. On the other side of the planet where our ship actually is, it is daytime. So, as you can see, our ship over here actually has a full charge going on. So, it's nice to see our base once again. Um, our sim speed actually isn't doing the greatest right now. But, uh, regardless, you know, who really cares about the sim speed? You know, these days, I don't really give a shit. But anyways, we're going to be putting together... A couple of resources so we actually have what it takes to actually repair our ship over there now there's a couple different scenarios I could see playing out here but yeah we're definitely gonna need some small atmospheric thrusters so we might as well build let's say four of those just to be safe we might run out of iron somewhere along the ride but we might have more in our refinery here let's check this out no actually our refinery is completely empty besides of what's actually been processed so yes we're gonna get that stuff together we actually have a buddy coming here to play with us a little bit and come to our base and yeah we'll see you guys in a second we're just gonna put this stuff together we're probably gonna wait till it's daytime and then we're gonna head over to the other side of that planet and we are going to jimmy rig that ship to the point where we can get it back here. And what we're actually going to end up doing as well as is we're going to use the GPS block that we have in our station and this small ship. So we're going to drive this small ship all the way to the other side of the planet, pick up our other ship, drive our other ship that we crashed all the way back here, and then actually use one of the display panels on the station and fly the ship back remotely so I won't have to fly all the way back and then come all the way back. So... Save me a little bit of time in the grand scheme of things. But yes, thanks everybody for watching. I will be back in one second, just momentarily, and we will continue on with our shenanigans. 
Okay, guys, a little bit of progress we've made here. Let's actually turn on our light. It's a little dark at the moment. But as you can see, we have a new... A new member of our cul-de-sac, of our residence, if you will. Um, yeah, so we have someone else, the master driller, has set up his base. Setting some solar panels on top of this to make it a little solar efficient. Not quite as extravagant as my base is at the moment. But yeah, it's basically just another starter ship, so... If he decides to keep playing on this, that's pretty cool. And if he doesn't, then I sort of inherit it because it's on my land, my property. But as you can see, we got a bunch more resources here. He's actually stepped out at the moment. He's actually offline. But we will be getting... He says he's going to be back on any moment now. We're actually going to head over and get our crash-landed ship. I've told him the whole story, so he's up to speed. And yes, we're going to head off there in just a moment. He has a little bit of a closer view, so he might be obstructing my waterfront view a little bit. But, you know, that's to be expected, you guys. And, um, if he doesn't do anything with this, I just might spruce it up for him in the meantime, so when he does decide to log on, there's some new stuff done to his base. And I'm probably going to color it for him, too. I hope he's not too upset with me if I would be coloring his base, but, you know, he can color whatever he wants, but blue just sticks out a lot, so... We are saving, which is good, and we are going to head off, and our ship is actually parked over by the iron at the moment, because we were stacking up some resources over there. So we're going to run back over there and start our journey towards, um, towards my broken down ship, and we're going to try to rebuild it. So we'll see you bros in a second. Alright you guys, we have made a new friend. He has joined into the server. This is actually one of my subscribers. His name is Master Driller, so I greatly appreciate his help. So instead of using the GPS, um, the GPS block on my station to actually remotely control the other ship that I was going to leave behind, we're actually both just going to take a ship. So we're sort of carpooling, you guys. He's on the top here on this little seat that I built for him. And yeah, so... We're going to make a lot more progress. We're going to do this a lot quicker now that we actually have a buddy. He's actually set up a station right next to my station. So we have a little bit of a cul-de-sac going on. So if anybody would like to play with us, we are on a faction called Toe on Fountain Server. So I'm, I'm hoping to get at least five people. So we'll have five toes. You know what I mean? But yeah, so we're going to be there any second. We're approaching... Well, actually, we're not very close at the moment. But we'll be there any second now. So yes, I will see you bros in one second. Okay, so we've arrived at our destination, my friends. And we have been working for about 45, 50 minutes. And, whoa, Jesus. And we're finally done. We finally rebuilt our ship here into somewhat of its uh, familiar form. But as you're about to see in a second, it is... Not even close to what it used to be. Wow, he's just out of here. My other ship is so much faster than this one, guys. So yeah, we're we're finally done. It took a long time. That crater is just as huge as I remember. And we're actually going to head on back to our base. He was talking about earlier about him actually running out of power. God, he's so fast. Well, my ship is so fast. Yeah, it's going to take a long time to catch up to him. But yeah, I, I'm thinking he's actually running out of power, so we might have to drop it down here. It's looking like he's stopping, so if he wasn't running out of power, he'd probably just be heading straight back by now. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of the episode. What we're doing right now is right, we're just waiting for this thing to charge. So we're a little bit low on our batteries, so it's actually going to grind off a couple of um, a couple of my things in order to get some mortars. Motors. Why do I keep calling them that? The motors and yeah our ship is not looking too good right now guys after the crash landing we had to do some weird stuff to it as you can see it's not looking the hottest as it's ever looked but we're, we're still we're still have everything we we worked so hard for to actually leave the atmosphere of the planet and actually go to space and get all of our stuff so in the long run it was definitely a successful run we got platinum we got some other stuff that is exclusive to the outer space and not you cannot find in uh the actual planets so yes um we're just gonna wait here for a second i think this might be the end of the episode guys but we're gonna have a, bl a bunch of stuff planned for the next episode now that we have platinum everything is gonna expand and it's gonna get a lot more extravagant and whatnot so i'd like to thank everybody for watching this has been a pretty exciting episode we have a friend here finally someone to 
enjoy the vastness of space with. And he's actually helped me out quite a bit, so I appreciate your help, my friend. This is the, the Master Driller. He's now part of my faction, the T-O-E, the Toe. So we have five Toes now, guys. We're, we're doing it. Toe stands for Trapped on Earth, by the way, if anybody's interested. But if anybody else would like to join our faction or, you know, mess around on Space Engineers, we don't have to record anything just... Just for fun, guys. I play this game in my spare time all the time without actually recording, so. Um, I think we might do a couple more things before we take off here, so we'll see you bros in a second. Thanks again, once again, and God, look how beautiful this is looking, guys. Just the vista points are just all over this gosh darn map, you guys. Space Engineers is just looking beautiful these days. Look at that big tree. That is a huge tree. Yes, my friends, we're hard at work. Hard work for you and my bros out there. Once again, thank you to Master Driller for taking part in this episode. And yeah, we'll see you guys in a second. We are with our buddy here, Master Driller. I'd like to thank him for being part of the episode. Thank you, my brother. But yes, everybody, thanks for watching. This is Lucas Adukas, and make sure to check out my other episodes if you enjoyed. And of course, as always, support and play the Space Engineers in your free time, you guys. So thanks again for watching. This is Lucas Adukas. Good night and good luck.